Balance is really a, a, a marriage of three different senses in the body. And the inner ear sense or the vestibular sense is quietly running in the background, telling you where your body is in space. Um, your visual sense, your, your eyesight, tells you what's moving in your environment. And the touch on your feet and in your body tells you which way you're oriented to gravity. And all these senses normally work together very seamlessly um, behind the background. So balance is not a conscious effort. When you're missing the vestibular sense, then you're really consciously relying on the other two senses, the eyesight and the sense of touch. Um, if we could give this person an, an additional third sense of touch coming from somewhere else, we felt that the brain would be able to use that mm -hmm. and to some way make up for the vestibular sense that they were missing. Mm -hmm. This is a tactile device, meaning it's touch. And what the device consists of is a small gyrometer which can sense movement of the body or the head, and in this instance the head. And then there are four small little vibrators on the front and the sides of the head and on the back. And so when the person would lean in any direction, forward or backwards or left and right, these little sensors would start to tap the head. And effectively what we had is five people who have absolutely no inner ear sense of balance left. Uh, they lost it either to a medication or they lost it to aging or head injury, but we tested them with our standard tests and there is no inner ear function. Mm -hmm. And then we stand them on a platform and people with this type of a problem, when you move the floor underneath them and they're standing on this platform and then you move the screen around them or you have them close their eyes, they would normally just fall over into a harness. So they, they just don't know where they are in space. Mm -hmm. When we put this device on them, and we did very little training with them, just a few moments to tell them how the device works, while they're wearing the device and it's actively on, uh, they were able to stand over 75% of the time through these trials, which was remarkable. Um, that just doesn't happen in somebody who has lost their inner ear function and does not have an extra cue. It would almost be as if we were allowing them to touch the wall and to feel where they were. They were getting another cue to tell them to stand up. We've applied and uh, have been granted another phase one to look at uh, the same situation, only perhaps in a little different patient population. Instead of just people with complete loss of function, we're going to also look at people with partial loss of function to see whether or not we can use them to uh, train with the device so they don't have to wear the device all the time. Um, we also use mild head injury patients, so people who have uh, had head trauma, uh, put the device on and try to retrain them how to keep their balance. So it wouldn't necessarily be just an inner ear problem. Since it was so potent with the people who'd lost their inner ear function, we felt that it might be a good training tool for people with less serious injury.